Hey guys, Kedri Sauer here, back at you with another What's Old video. This is week 49 of 2023, getting to the end of the year. So hopefully the sales will be really good this week and the next couple weeks. First up for today, this Honda jacket, red and blue. Got this at a garage sale for I think 15, $10 or $15. Uh, Swamp Picker, Glenn, if you watch this, he, he commented on it when I posted it on Facebook or Instagram, one of those two sites at one point. But yeah, 135 bucks for that jacket right there. Not bad. The best sale to start out the week though, but Bellana sold for like 60 bucks plus shipping. It's going to Houston, so it only costs six bucks to ship, even though it is like 14 by 12 by eight, or maybe even bigger than that box. Or those usually go in poly bags actually. Also, also on Amazon, this chat lot of chapstick, 12 spearmint chapsticks sold for $20 plus shipping. I paid like 20 cents each for those probably sometime. I'm trying to find the, oh, I'll just go on the eBay. This Polo Ralph Lauren dress, uh, cable knit dress sold for like 15 plus shipping came out of a storage unit so it's free to me the Derek Jeter glove got this at a estate sale for like three bucks on the last or two I think it was actually two dollars on the last day I don't know why no one else picked it up but it sold for 23 bucks plus shipping good sale here's the other two Amazon sales these two sold for seven bucks each I paid five seven bucks plus shipping I paid five so I might break even on those I shouldn't have bought them I think I paid I paid five bucks yeah five bucks each on those shouldn't have bought those but hey I had to sell them. Next up is this Canon camera. This sold on Mercari for 50 bucks, free shipping. Um, I couldn't get it to work too well. It said it needed a new battery, so hopefully that's all it needed was a new battery. Uh, we'll see what the buyer says when they receive it. <laughs> this Air Avatar Airbender plushie sold for 18 plus shipping. It's a cool little plush. I thought it would sell faster. It took it a while to sell. Um, this puzzle I've had since I went on that thrifting road trip to see Kayla and KJ like over two years ago now. Now, it took me a while to list it. I probably only listed it a couple months ago, but it did finally sell. Frontier Puzzle, I paid a uh, dollar for this, sold for like 20 plus ship. And last but not least, nine of these little fresh cut Frasier scents, uh, better home and garden scents for Christmas. I guess someone wants a lot of them, <laughs> but these sold for 35 plus shipping on Posh. So pretty good sale there actually. Um, and that's it for sales to start out the week. Here are my sales for today. Pretty good amount of sales going out. First up, this Rawlings glove. It's not in great condition, but it's sold for 50 bucks. So someone sent me an offer. It's a Pro T glove. It didn't have a model number on it, unfortunately, so I wasn't able to really look it up, but it needs some work. So 50 bucks, I'll take. These Allbird shoes for 65 bucks. Uh, shout out Drew Profit Monsters. First time I ever heard of Allbirds is from him. So those shoes sold. Poshmark sale. This little Carmen the Cat. She sold for like eight bucks plus shipping, so not much, but I only paid 65 cents for. This little Fox. I've sold these in the past. They're called poop cheese because poop comes out the butt. <laughs> a poopchi fox sold for like $15. Edgar the cat sold for $17 plus ship. I paid $0.65 cents for him. This was from the Heavy 127 sale. Lego set of Spider-Man. Lady sent me a message saying her son had lost, or her grandson had lost it. And thank you so much. That's actually a theme to this video. Because this, well, you can't find, there it is. Kit. The grandma sent me a message on this one as well and said, hey, I can't find this. My little uh, grandson or granddaughter calls it Mickey and we needed a replacement. So this is the replacement. She couldn't find it anywhere else other than Mercari. This Game Boy Advance SP box with damage sold for 130 bucks on eBay. They have not paid yet. They only have four feedback, so I'm not confident they're going to pay. But this is definitely worth it. Um, I got this in a lot of game on oh, a video game stuff i bought way back in the day uh, finally got around listening i didn't realize it was a special edition target exclusive so it's probably a harder box to find and a lot of people just destroyed the boxes so next up louisa sold for like 17 plus ship on amazon paid five for her this sold for 88 bucks plus shipping on amazon if you can find the pedometers i've said it in the past pedometers can sell really well omron is a brand of this one but any pocket pedometer especially new in the packaging can be pretty good money next up i'm not going to show you all of them but this set of silverware i've said it in the past silverware is a great seller 400 bucks for this silverware set this is oneida frost pattern 50 pieces going out for 400 dollars next up is ferdinand these two ty plushie actually not ty but they're both ferdinand from the movie ferdinand these sold for like 14 dollars plus shipping this pair of shoes saucony if that's how you say that brand these sold for 30 dollars plus shipping and they came out of a storage unit so they're free to me Another pretty good sale, if I had to say so. These M A G N A N N I Magnanani. That's how you say the brand. These sold for 152 bucks. 
plus shipping on eBay. Ty Ty Lux, the little bigger guys sold for like twenty, I think, plus shipping. The Tumbly Duck Jelly Cat sold for nineteen plus shipping. Fudge the Reindeer for thirty five plus shipping. It's been a while since I've sold one of these. Had this is Amazon sale. Paid like fifty cents for him way back in the day. This talking jigsaw puzzle sold for fifty dollars plus shipping. It sold really fast too. So yeah, surprising sale that it sold that fast, but I'll take it. Combo Panda sold a couple of these recently. Paid three bucks as you can see there. I'll take that off before shipping, but he sold for like fifteen. I think free shipping. And last but not least, some cologne. Canoe, well, cologne, deodorant, aftershave, and aftershave soother. Uh, this all together sold for $30 plus shipping. I got this recently at a state sale for, I think I paid like five bucks for that at an estate sale. So that, that's a pretty good amount of sales for one day if I had to say so. Here are the sales for today. Starting out with Bulbasaur. <laughs> this Christmas Bulbasaur I've had forever. Probably paid like 12 bucks for it originally. It sold for like 20, so I'm not gonna make very much there. 20 with free shipping. Calio sold for like 15 with free shipping as well, and I think I paid five bucks for Calio. These two little guys sold for like 15 uh, free shipping, but I didn't pay much, maybe 20 cents, I mean, a, a dollar into all those. Sold some glue out of a storage unit. This sold for $20.99 free shipping. It'll, sh I think it shipped for like eight bucks because it does weigh over a pound. Superhero Squad, I picked these up at the Abita yard sale. Sometime last year, uh, maybe even two years ago, finally got around to listing them. They were sitting in a tote that took forever to list. Finally got around to listing them. This is like Captain America, Thor, and a couple other Marvel figures. Sold for $19 plus shipping. Paid $15 for a big lot of them, so definitely in the profit there. Speaking of profit, this guy made no profit. Han Solo, uh, Loot Crate exclusive. He sold for like 5 bucks plus shipping. I probably paid 10 bucks for him, so not making any money there at all. This minion sold for 17 plus ship. I paid like six six dollars at FYE. Don't remember FYE. We used to have an FYE here in Baton Rouge. No longer. It's been been gone a long time. Another super Y from Peaches to Beaches going out. I'll probably still have these whenever I go to Peaches to Beaches again next year. These sold for $55 plus shipping. Books. Princess Diaries books. A lot of 10 books sold for like $39. Media mail shipping. Fisher Price, Little People, paid two bucks as you can see there, sold for 15 free ship. They should ship uh, under a pound. Clothing, this Levi pants, shorts, sold for 15 plus ship. Poshmark sale, this Callan style dress from Fashion Nova, it's very long. <laughs> I don't even know how you fit, like that's taller than some women are. But yeah, this sold for like 15 plus shipping on Poshmark. Carl Edwards, Shirt sold for 20 plus ship. This might be my own personal shirt, but I decided to get rid of it. It's an AOP all over print. Really cool shirt. I actually thought it would go for more, but decided to go ahead and sell it. This vest, Ralph Lauren, lightweight vest, sold for like 15 plus ship. And last but not least, the item that's not going to be fun at all to ship. These two tennis rackets, I have no clue where they came from at this point. Uh, I don't remember. They're Wilson K Factor tennis rackets. They sold for $125. Unfortunately, they're going to Oregon and they're going to a zero feedback buyer. So. We'll see what happens. I might be saying that these are getting returned pretty soon. I don't know. We'll see what the buyer has to say about that. Hopefully, there will be no problems. And I still haven't gotten, oops, still haven't gotten paid for this yet. I'll update y'all if they ever actually pay for it. Here are my sales for today. Starting out with 20 questions, handheld game. This sold for like 30 bucks, I think. I paid two bucks for that at a thrift store. Next up is this Department 56 figure, Harley Davidson. This sold for, I think, 50 bucks. I think I paid like five or 10 for that at an estate sale, probably. 65 bucks, another super wide going out. This one sold for 65. They Sometimes they send me offers, sometimes they just pay outright. 65 bucks for that guy. Free to me at this point. This sold, <laughs> I got this at the bins with KJ. It's a Warmies, still new with the tags. Um, whenever I went with KJ in August, I guess, whenever I went to the Highway 127 and Highway Byway sales and then went over to Pittsburgh after that. But yeah, Poshmark sale. Next up, Dead Like Me. One is sealed, one is not, but these two sold for like 25 bucks. Esper Pokemon Plush sold for 35 plus shipping. This little Winnie the Pooh blanket sold for like 17 bucks free ship. It's baby's first Christmas. This came, I got this in May whenever I went up to Arkansas to stay with my niece and nephew while my brother and his wife went on vacation. This sold for like 35 bucks. Sugar Cup Bunny Twisty Pets sold for 20. Two Squishmallow 
Cinnamon and Clarissa. These both sold for around 10 or 15 Not much, but a little, a little bit. This was a good squishy mouse. All 60 bucks for George. I think that's his name. George the Boston Terrier with hot, ho co hot cocoa. Cameo the cat. Sometimes the TYs can be worth it. 15 or 20 bucks for him. Uh, Skunk from Bambi. Flower is his name. He sold for, I think, 15 bucks. So mom was really happy to get him. And a couple more, I think. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky, I got this for a dollar at the Highway Byway. Only sold for 10 bucks on Mercari, so really not much money, but better than nothing. Thought it'd be worth more. I think I got it for free pretty much whenever I bought all the Barbies. Kirk Gibson jersey. Didn't say his name, but it is Kirk Gibson from the Detroit Tigers, I believe. This sold for like 53 bucks on eBay, and it's going international shipping to Canada, eh? That's it for today's sales. Here are my sales for today. Starting out with Gabby the Goat, sold for $8.65 plus ship. I paid six, so I'm not gonna make much money, if anything, on her or him. Probably her. These clue tokens for Scooby-Doo. You probably can't really see them too well, but they're all the tokens you need to play the game, replacement pieces. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This sold on Amazon, a little as pet shop. Paid a dollar for this at Walmart a while ago. Sold for $10 plus shipping on Amazon. Poshmark sale, Bandon Dunes hat. Got this at a yard sale for a dollar, sold for 13 on Posh. The Ken vs. 10 challenge is in full swing right now, so Ken and I are competing against each other to see who can sell the most items out of 10 items we list from our death pile. So far, I've sold two, and he's sold two, based on at this moment, at least. Make sure you all watch it on thurs next Thursday. You'll be able to see who won. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Gates to Infinity, sold for $29.99 plus shipping. It is complete in the casing. Good sale there. Another video game sale, my second sale, is this Ultimate Spider-Man GameCube game. This sold for $36 plus shipping. So far, Ken has sold a Fitbit for like $65, and there's some kind of bath and aromatherapy for $65 as well. So yeah, dollar-wise, he's beaten me, but we're tied at the only thing that matters, which is the uh, amount of sales. Encrypted short or long pants with a rose pattern on them. The, and say Savage on the side. These sold for like $19.99 plus shipping. They will go out flat rate envelope. And last but not least, I believe, this d Co. jacket. Sold pretty fast. I listed it earlier this week and it's already sold. Denim & Company. This sold for, I think, $20 plus shipping as well. So that's it for sale pre-weekend sales. So just like last week, I'm going to ship my Friday orders out before the or on Saturday instead of waiting until Monday to ship them out. First up, we got Balana, sold for like 14 plus ship. I probably paid 9 or 10, so I'm not going to make much money there. Same with Karina. She sold for 20 or 23, and I paid like 11 at Home Goods for her, but still sold it, so I'll take it. These are all Amazon sales. Tigri as well. I lost money on this one. Sold for like 9 plus shipping. I think I paid 9 for it originally. Wendy, took me a while to find it, but I did find it luckily with red eyes. Sold for I think 10 plus ship. I paid like, I think I paid 5 or 6 or 5 below for that one. Uh, another item from the Kim vs. 10 challenge. Talk Boy <laughs> from Home Alone 2. If you've seen these before, they're super cool. If you have one that works, this one is parts only. If you have one that works, it'll sell for over $200. The little back cover right here sells for around 15 plus shipping on its own without it. So yeah, 89 bucks for this thing. It does partially work. So hopefully the person that gets it will be able to fix it and then they can flip it and make some really good money. And the one Mercari sale, technically two sales, but it's the same buyer buying two different lots. So I just combined it into one. Uh, these Mega Constructs Halo figures, uh, five different ones. They all sold for $45, free shipping. And the last sale, one, that I, always, one I always talk about, Five Nights at Freddy's. The Hippo sold on Amazon for $183 plus shipping. I paid 10 bucks for him retail project at Walmart probably three or four years ago now. I still have some. I'm the only one that has them, and people will still pay it. So $183 for this little guy. Unbelievable but I'll take it. Um, and yeah, that's it for sales until Monday. Here are my sales for the weekend. Starting out first with this Super Bowl blanket from Super Bowl 31, I believe is what it's from. Uh, the Packers played somebody. I don't remember, but it's going to somewhere up north, but not, I think it's going to like New Jersey. This doll right here sold for $100 plus shipping. It's Florence Nightingale Inspiring Women series from Barbie. Really cool sale there. I think I paid like 10 bucks for this at a consignment sale. On the last day of the consignment sale, I'm not sure why it was still there on the last day. I should have picked it up on the first day when I went. This Otterbox, do not list this on eBay. Sold on Mercari for like 10 bucks, uh, free shipping. So not really worth 
worth it. I don't know why I left it up. I should have taken that listing down. But hey, it sold. And I still had it, luckily. This ladybug sold for like $19 plus shipping on eBay. Poshmark sale. This Walmart employee shirt came out of a storage unit. Sold for like 20 bucks plus shipping on Posh. So that's a cool sale there. Sometimes employee shirts can be very good. Some of them you're not allowed to sell, like uh, American Airlines and other airline ones, for obvious reasons that you want to try and sneak on the plane or whatever. Next up, this Statue of Liberty Disney pin sold for like $15, I believe. Took best offer of $15. Another Harley patch going out. The feather one went out for $11 plus shipping. Frank the Tank, part of the Ken vs. 10 series. Uh, if y'all want to watch Thursday, I will be live showing the results of it. But y'all are kind of seeing the results here. But if you want to see me live for an hour, it'll be Thursday at 11 Eastern. So make sure you go check out Ken's channel to do that. Another Ken vs. 10 challenge, Wii Sports. So I'm up to six items now sold. I think this is the sixth one I sold. <laughs> I know I'm at six. I'm not sure if this is the fifth and sixth one or if this is the fourth and fifth one. But either way, those two sold. Some other Amazon sales. Tricks the Rabbit and Coco the Cocoa Puffs, Sunny the Cocoa Puffs Bunny, I mean, not Bunny, uh, Tricken, I guess is what he is, I don't know. This one sold for 30 this one sold for 20 Piggy and Kermit sold for like six or 50 bucks for the two of them. And last but not least, Fudge the Reindeer sold for $35. For some reason, he's starting to sell now, but I'll take it. $35 for a Beanie Boo that I paid like a dollar for max. And that's it for sales for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite sale and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.